This is the hardest start in Victoria 3, categorically. You begin at war with Brazil, a much, much stronger nation, and you have no time to prep. His army's already knocking at your door, asking why your map color is different. All this means that 99% of the time, this is what happens. You're completely annexed, and it's game over. But what if we restart time and time again, until the impossible becomes improbable, becoming possible? Well, it might take more than three hours, but that sounds like a plan to me. It's not gonna be an easy one. I don't think we're meant to survive. What can I do? What do you have? Your defensive strategies. That's kind of what we need. What's the terrain here? It looks mountainous. Okay, let's just try a fresh run. Let's just see what happens if I just if I just let it go. Okay, we have worse stats and fewer troops. Why are we trying to attack? Again, fresh, like the first one, we're just gonna, we're gonna let it run. See what we can learn. Okay, they are crushing us. And is it just, is it just one thing? I think it's just one. Giuseppe Garibaldi becomes the general. Okay, um, get him in charge, you're fired. Okay, it's gotten worse, minus 85. Garibaldi came over to try and help and he was not here in time. Yeah, we, we're just getting crushed. Oh, and off they go. <laughs> It's so funny. They're gone. Now's your chance, boys. Rise up. Okay, so that's that done, right? Sure. Okay, so that's given us little to no information. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so this time, try something else. We don't have any conscripts. Adamant defense. That's going to give us plus 15% defense. Okay, let's do that. Can't recruit any of these. Okay. Imperial government's apathy towards the plight of people can no longer be tolerated. We've elected our own government and declared that our province to be invented, much the ire of Brazil. Uh, I mean, we could try. We could certainly try. What else could I do? Okay, the armed force is currently neutral. Let's try making them... That'll trigger plus 10% offense and defense. And then let's also pay them full wages. Give them some more recovery. The issue is that Grau... We need to, like, win before Grau power dies. Because that's another 11 and we're not... We're not getting that. Yeah, enlistment efforts, because, you know, <laughs> why not? I need to know what kind of terrain this is. I'll leave it this time, but I think elevated is a good shout. They'll get the elevated plus 25% elevated defense. Yeah, they're loyal now. Okay, we've got to hold off in time for the second army to take place. Okay, we could get lucky. We'll see. No, we don't. It's better than it was before. Yeah, okay. It's better than it was before, but we're just still getting a rinse. 23 defense. Okay, definitely the right way, but we need that first one to be, uh, to be good. Giuseppe Garab... Baldy turned up. Might have turned up a little bit late. Okay, so we definitely can't get another thing in time. We can get one, basically. Oh, legislative failures. I mean, why are we focusing on legislative fa failures when, you know, we're dying out here? We did we did well enough, really. We did well enough, but not, not enough to secure victory, which I, I, I mean, this would be harder than Texas, because at least Texas, you had better troops. All right, let's try this again. See, I'm looking at this journal entry, I'm thinking... Surely they would have put in a special event if it was possible to win. It's going to take nine weeks to do irregular infantry. I think we last, we last about 10 weeks, right? So we can get one more in. Okay, there we go. Conscript battalions. I don't know what that does. But we've got four more of them now. If I do this, is it also nine weeks? Yeah, okay. This is no line infantry, but like we've, we've summoned more troops. Where are they coming from? Okay. Okay, one defense, one defense. Where do we get the other troops from? Not yet raised. How do I raise the- Okay, raise four conscripts. We've got some extra conscripts. That's gonna help. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's gonna be so close. There's a coup thing. I've been ignoring this completely, mainly because I've, I wasn't expecting to survive. So we'll see. We want to be against them because that's gonna give us more conscriptable battalions by 25%, which is actually gonna give us a little bit of a bonus here. Now, I'm gonna ignore Garibaldi because he's not- I, I don't know how the, the generals work, and I don't want that to happen. Okay. I don't want to like switch out. Yeah, that's one victory. Okay, they're gonna attack again. Recover quickly, boys! Okay, well, it was positive for a second. Still defending. Okay, I haven't been doing research. Let's research late. Um, again, because I don't really feel like it's gonna happen, but I mean, we'll try. Okay, conscripts are joining the front lines from now. I don't care if there's enough qualifications, just do it. We've got to crease in to make sure we're building fast. Okay, uh, let's also do social mobility. Well, yeah, we lost that battle. Yeah, it's the beginning of the end, I think. Okay, but this this is a blueprint. We did better that time than we did the time before. Yeah, it's now they're now starting to roll us. I wonder why it's getting so bad. Is it because we're not recovering? I think it's because we're not recovering. Another failed attempt there. But that one was better. That one was a lot better. Okay, so what would I do differently? I mean, luck does play into it at the end of the day. So I think we keep on going like that. I can get more into the garrisons, I think. I can get I can get more out of the garrisons if I mobilize them immediately. Okay, let's give it another shot. Oh, man. Standard living stayed high, though. Oh, 
I can already tell this is gonna be a rough one. Surely it's possible. That's that's what I'm questioning. Like, uh, it's not a good thing that I'm questioning it now, but like, I'm concerned that it's impossible. Like Hindustan, for example, in uh, in India, when that appears, that's impossible just because of how front lines work. But this is one front line. I feel like with a bit of luck, we've got a chance. We had positive numbers for a second. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try advancing. No, let's try to adamantly defending first, and then we'll switch over to advancing once we have our uh, garrisons done. Okay. Put down the decrees. Yeah, it's because of the decrees that I can actually build. Okay, let's try again with line infantry, and then I think we might have to switch it up to, like, cannons. Wait, I think I'm going to go construction sector and just hope we can hold on. These two over to general training. I think this is the setup, though. It's going to take nine weeks. Yeah, no, nine weeks is too long. Nine weeks is too long. We can't wait nine weeks. Anything I can do here? No, I mean, I'll, the research won't happen in time. Yeah, it's unfortunate. 25% morale loss is, is, yeah. All right. It is, it's going to come down to luck. I'm just going to have to keep replaying it. <laughs> All right, I'm actually going to run my old friend probability here. Uh, I'm going to start recording the data. And that's how you know I'm a massive nerd. All right, notebook at the ready. In run one, we had zero battles. Run two, we had uh, one victory. This is run three. And then we'll just, I'll keep tweaking things each time, see if we can get something. All right, we need him to blunder, basically, immediately. Okay, we've immediately blundered, and he's got an aggressive maneuver. Okay, good visibility. And is against broken supply line. Yeah, that initial blunder is not great. Great, wonderful. <laughs> and because of how the new um, uh, the new system works with control, re like retreating and stuff like that, we don't stay in the battle anymore. We just leave, uh, which makes sense. A little bit frustrating. Okay, so run three had zero. Maybe that first one was a fluke. He's just blundering immediately, and then he's gone well. Okay, so that's run four. Because that's where the numbers are playing into it. Oh, I mean, we we lost almost as many men as he did. Far right, it's a twenty five percent chance uh, thus far. But he immediately blunders. Blunder camera flush broken supply line control retreat surely it's not the same every time because i've hit those same four every single time now maybe you have to restart the game entirely to get a different set of results you don't think it's hard coded do you like each time you start the game it already pre-writes the battles that oh, doesn't make any sense at all yeah but blunder blunder chartered terrain yeah that's the exact same thing that ran last time that's weird that's very strange okay let's try one more of that because this is my sixth run at this point all right so i don't touch anything everything stays the same and the game crashes okay an interesting move, game. An interesting move. Let's see. So the game's restarted. Seven is a null point. Eight. Yeah, blunder immediately. Blunder, camouflage, broken supply lines, and then control retreat. Yeah, it's the exact same each time. Okay, so nine is the exact same. Okay. So let's try starting like from fresh then. Which is if this changes things, it's gonna be it's gonna suck. Because it means I can't go from the save game each time where I've got everything already set up. I've got to set it up every single time. If we can set up a decent amount of defense, we should be okay. So we start from fresh. This is run number 10. Pretty good 10 runs already. Okay, National Guard is ready. Hit him with the decrees. Okay, I think it's everything set up. Different save game. I don't know how the hell we won that first battle. Chartered terrain, different. Chartered terrain, then blunder. Chartered terrain. Blunder. Broken supply line. Okay, let's see. Let's see if that runs again. What the hell? He didn't take any territory. Can't imagine it's gonna get better for us. Yeah, there you did. Okay, let's see if it runs the same thing. Because if it does, that, I don't I don't quite know how to feel about that. Because if it runs the exact same thing each time, it's not actually random. The strategies aren't random. They're, they're pre-done. Okay, so it should be Chartered Terrain. It is. Chartered Terrain, Blunder. No, dug in this time. Okay. Okay, it is different. Okay, maybe we just got really unlucky. Or I guess really lucky, considering this is run 12 now. Okay, well, at least we know we can reload the saves. Okay, I'll run four more runs of this, and then we'll see what else I can put to you. See, what I don't understand is I only get six of my boys in out of the 10. Here's 15 of his. Did demoralize him. I think once we lose one battle, it's over for us. That is, I mean, surely we can beat him when he's lost. Yeah, there was a chance there. There was a chance for a second. We're not doing terribly. We're just mildly losing. 31 defense. How are you pushing against that? Ah, oh, he's done a surprise maneuver. That's why. We're not demoralizing more, most of his troops. Okay, and the final battle. Yeah, blunder immediately. That's run. F I don't even know what run this is. So far, out of the 15 or so runs, we've won once. And that was run number two. <laughs> Back when I thought this was possible. Six. We're doing something to stop all of our guys from getting in. Yeah, because they're like remobilizing their troops now. And now it's over for us. Oh, actually, here we go. Right. So on run 15, we lost the first one. Lost the first one, but then won the second. If we win this one, that is. I take back what I said. We're going to win the third one? Yes, we are. Okay, so we won the third one. Okay, Giuseppe is attacking for some reason. Oh, I think grab power. Yeah, grab power fell. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of troops. Jesus Christ. Minus 90. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, that has demonstrated one thing to me, and that is that we can't 
play passive. We won one. So that's our second victory. Hello, it's plus 5% morale loss, plus 10% morale damage. And then we get defense and elevated terrain. All right, let's get them both to advance. There's actually hope here. You just got a bit lucky. But pushing some reason it's four against seven versus like the 15 versus six we've been hurting with. And the more we attack, the less we have to defend. Admittedly, one of these, the, this guy is terrible at defending. Is this guy? Yeah, the other guy. Mm. So Giuseppe Garibaldi turns up. So what if we defended initially and then had Garibaldi turn up and lead the attack? Let's try that. So run 17, zero victories. Bear in mind every single time that uh, we attack, we are like bringing men off of their defense. Okay, so you adamantly defend initially. Yeah, I dropped like 100 manpower immediately. Don't blunder, man. Like, blundering is the worst possible thing you could do. Okay, Garibaldi didn't turn up this time. We got our asses kicked. This one was the worst one so far. Oh, he did turn up. You're a bit late, mate. I'm not gonna lie to you. We've occupied a little bit of his territory. Go on, Giuseppe! Oh, we're in their territory now. Unfortunately, they're in ours as well, but it's fine. We're in theirs. Okay, Giuseppe cannot defend to save his life. Okay, so we did push into his territory, which is an interesting development. I didn't expect that. And then we lost. So, so far, our longest survival is against, like, we've out-survived Graupara every time. Yeah, the issue is we don't have a navy. We can't naval invade. Okay, he is leaving. It looks like to go to Graupara, so that's nice. Oh, man. That's a lot of defense as well. Okay, we've won two battles in a row for the first time. He doesn't have any morale. Okay, now we need Garibaldi. Now we need Garibaldi, please. Grab power, you need to hold on. No, there's more troops coming south. Yeah, that'll that'll hurt. Ugh, that's inconvenient. Yeah, Garibaldi's turned up. He's turned up a bit too late, and there's more troops piling south. Yeah, that's done. Okay, we did a lot better that time around. A lot better. Okay, I just keep tweaking it. I was gonna try and find an exploit if I could find one. Ugh, off the back of that last one, I was hoping I could get some success, but no. Oh, actually, Garibaldi's here early. I also sometimes nip in. Taking land. Here's what I'm gonna do now. On the assumption that we have to attack and not defend, right? We need to get rid of this guy. Oh, actually, Surveyor, 10% home defense. He didn't have that before. He just got that trait. That's huge. Okay, let's get rid of Garibaldi. I don't want to get rid of Garibaldi entirely, so we're going to do that. I, t I need to defend. Oh, this sucks. Um, All right, I'm exiling. Get rid of, get rid of Garibaldi. Just pure defense. Yeah, once it gets to this point, we don't have the morale recovery. Oh, that sucks. He had the good traits. Which is when Graupara is done, he sends in more boys south. Yeah, it, it's, got, it's got to be just a full, a full all-out assault and hope, right? That's game 30 done. <laughs> okay. Garibaldi's here quickly. That's good. Garibaldi's here so quick. Okay, here's what we do. Retire, Commander. Take a save because we won a battle, okay? We won one battle. Now we just keep pushing. So I've taken the save. So from here on out, that one battle, which has happened about 7 8% of the time, we've got that save. So that's, that's a massive boost in probability, which is good. Downside is Garibaldi's defending. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we pushed out. Graparan, you need to hold. Oh, God. Garibaldi went for a panicked retreat. Yeah, his, his defense is the issue. Yeah, that's that done. Okay, that was the best we've had so far, though. Like, one or two lucky battles, and we could probably push up until here. But then what, you know? Because then Graupara is coming south. Okay, Garibaldi. You're pa uh, we're panicked retreating, but we're beating him. Yeah, this is it. Um, this is as good as it's going to get. How close are we? 162. Oh, two battles at the same time. Oh, two battles at the same time is never going to go well. Oh, God. There comes a point in your life where you're like, how many times can I do this over and over again? And it's been an hour and a half. No, wait. The first half hour was testing. So, it's been two hours. Okay. We're better off than when we started. 186. So, 162, I think, is the best we got. I mean, we can drop it to, uh, well, a sub 100. That's progress. If I can do that in the next half hour, I'll, I'll, I'll continue. Come on, squeeze through, please. Oh, Okay, this is the best I've ever- No! The front line is split! Why are we behind enemy line? Wait, this could be good. We have a hundred here for some reason. Where the hell is he going? They're leaving to go somewhere. Where are you going? What the hell? Why? Okay, they're coming back now. They're coming back! Quick! Push! Push! Okay, I've just got to save. I've got to save. Why did they leave? Come on, Garibaldi. Just go. Just go. Just do damage. We just need damage. Just keep them away. I don't know what the hell is happening. We've got to take advantage of this. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. 51. No. No. Garibaldi. We had it. We had it. Oh, for oh my God. We were so close. Oh, fortunately, I took a save. Okay, that's our new benchmark. That's our new benchmark. Oh my god. They just all left for some reason. I have this save, but I kind of want to go back a little bit further. Okay, I have it all saved from the first of this month. I've got 100 because they're traveling here. All right, well, let me take a save from the first because there might be something funky we could do. What the hell is this? If he naval invades me, it's over. They're still traveling. Oh, go, 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 go. Push further. It's just because that front line splitting. It is. Okay, now we just need to keep them away for a little while. That front line split was... was I've never seen it do well for me before. Where are you going? Okay, our issue now is we run out of manpower. So there's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we've got basically no manpower. Mm. Oh, it's because he dipped under under zero wall score. Yes! Yes! <laughs> 
Oh my god, we ran out of manpower. I, it took, I'm gonna be honest, it took a lot of saving at crucial moments and then reloading those saves. Just to get past the milestone, my, my hope was that we'd start at like uh, at zero and go from there, but let's just, please, please. Oh my God. Okay. We, ha we don't have any manpower. Everyone died. Everyone died. Okay, it has been two and a half hours of playing the same thing. We can finally start the game. I, it was just, like, I don't think that this is possible. I think it was just the line, the um, the thing splitting, which allowed me to push up into here, which meant that we could delay until they nip down below, uh, uh, below zero. I don't think that you could do it otherwise. Oh my God, my voice hurts. I mean, now we can go ahead and look at our resources, which I haven't checked before. What could we even build here? We've got coal. Whaling, fishing, lead, logging camps, and we have nothing else. Okay, struggle for independence. We should get the gaucho yell. We didn't get the gaucho yell. But I did all of that for the event. I did all of it for the event, the gaucho yell. Did they not code it? Did they not think anyone was going to be able to do this? Let me go back to January. Maybe, come on, don't do this to me. Ah, the reason, I see, the reason they, they switched is because I had, I said screen, I have the war goal. So you have to push out. Okay, so it is possible. You just, you just need to push out. Okay, I'm thinking of save here. I want to go back to my previous save and see what I, uh, like, how early, because I didn't know that. Okay, let's go from, like, December. Yeah, they won't do it. Well, I have no intention of playing that again, so. White peace. There's the peace deal. Throw for was completed. Oh, it's not. It didn't trigger. All right, well, either way, let's start cracking on with actual Victoria 3. The conscriptable battalions did help. Peace in them, actually. So what now? What does Uruguay have? No, I need iron. As far as I could tell, Brazil was suffering from a shortage of iron. That also helped. <laughs> There's a shortage in arms industries, which really helped. I think that's that's how you do this, right? You you need to you need to be aggressive. I mean, save at many points. I don't think you're gonna do this in one round. At least statistically, it's incredibly unlikely. I have a, a page and a half. Well, this is the the other page, but it's it's all like with just <laughs> recording the stats. <laughs> well, I guess let's um let's get logging camps first. How many men do we even have? I, we lost a lot. Yeah, we don't. We don't have too much. I think what I'm gonna do is get rid of the military. Unless we're going against Uruguay. I mean, we might as well go against Uruguay. In fact, what we're gonna do is get in construction center first and use that. It feels weird to actually play Victoria 3. I oh <laughs> spent two and a half hours to get one year into the game. <laughs> Oh my god, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of runs. That's that's so many. Yeah, initially the plan was to try and get it done all in one, right? So I start from the start, I get it all done, but I I after run uh it's like 35 or something, I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a save from after successful battles and then just keep playing out the battles. Yeah, I, I pff, take of that what you will. If you if you consider that to be not uh, valid, then fair enough. All right, let's get a tooling industry early. We're gonna use that to create more tools, to create more uh Logging camps. All right, we'll improve relations with the United States and also Brazil. We've researched the lathe. Let's go to intensive agriculture. We do have plantations. God, 3,000 out of 9,000 manpower. When that dipped to two, I thought it was done. But we'll go. I keep on talking about what's previously happened instead of narrating what's the future stuff. But I'm. it was after hour two that I was like, oh, you spent two hours on this. The sunk cost fallacy really set in. And I was like, I, I kind of have to keep going. Um, what even do is this? Why do we have Sunni guys? That living is collapsing. We're probably going to get people dying off of hunger soon. But yeah, saving after each uh, battle. Definitely the way to go. I, I win a battle, save it. I have a, a plot, a little plot on my piece of paper of the different saves and how they connect. Yeah, after this, I'm going to get rid of the... There we go. Let's get rid of the construction sector. Need that early. Sawmills going. With the Rio Grande's Republic at peace and the fight against tyrants over, at least for now, Giuseppe Garibaldi has decided to leave the country. Another reason I wanted is get harvesting tools and butchering tools. We've got an actual tooling workshop going. I seem weird to try and industrialize early with like food industries and such, but trust me, it's worth it. Wait, no, it's not. It's not that one, is it? It's a vineyard. Let's sort out the primary agriculture first. So wine doesn't count as liquor, huh? This is news to me. Yeah, it has 10 and 10. I was thinking maybe we could steamroll them, but that's not happening. Although if I can take them out, it would be ideal. Let's do this instead. Oh, that's another thing. Conscript lances. All right, let's get textile mills going and also a livestock. Because over here, right, you're sacrificing with the line infantry and lances. You're sacrificing the 10 uh, defense for 10 offense, which is good for initially pushing in, right? That kill rate's ne decent and the battle occupation. Very nifty. Right, the issue with going after Argentina is that we're not in the same interest. Uruguay, however, we can take out. All right, we're conquering the state. Mobilize. We don't need to raise our conscripts. Their morale is horrible. Let's be the guy bullying for once. This is what we were bred to do. Could be Uruguay done. The whole thing with the Peruvian, uh, Peru-Bolivian Confederation. I should have been an ally of them instead of... Well, I actually, no, I couldn't because I needed the... Uh, Conscriptual battalions. All right, we've taken a state. That's also a dye plantation. Okay, our GDP is doubled. And what? Enable 
Connected bureaucrats. I'd love to, but I think it's gonna be a revolution the other way. Oh, no one would, ha no one would care. Yeah, I'd much rather have elected bureaucrats. Fair enough. Well, I can enclose. We can get some dyes and then use those to make more advanced clothes. And hopefully, start exporting some dyes to the world. Because that's usually quite a tricky one. Ambitious the Peruvian Bolivian Co Peru Bolivian Confederation could be averted by forcing to release their subjects before the progress bar reaches zero. It doesn't exist or has lost all of its subjects. Yeah, I can't do that. Okay, we need more fabrics. Fortunately, the only way we can get fabrics is through these livestock ranches. The rough start at the bottom of the world, but God, I feel I feel empty after that. I, I like I've got to. It, I, it feels weird to have to play uh, Victoria Three now. Oh, that's a brown Austria Hungary. I haven't seen that before. Got a forehead on that man. Yeah, it feels weird. That I that I'm no longer in a state of just restart, 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 restart. I mean, the war in Uruguay was nice, but I think I've fundamentally changed as a person. So some slaughterhouses, you can increase pollution. That's fine. Don't start bettering the lives of our citizens. Yeah, we've got a bit of an issue. We can't import from anyone. We can't export. I don't know. The British have an interest here. Okay, let's export some wood. What we'll dies the Americans? Our coffee, we can export that to the Americans. Our economy is actually going quite well now. Meat to the British. I'm actually making a decent amount of money now. Turns out. Growing crash crops and exporting it to more developed areas of the world makes money. <laughs> I'm sure nations around the world will figure this out at some point. This is new, innovative, never been done before. Let's do a quick Moroccan GDP check. 0.58 mil. I mean, they've, they've done all right. Tunisia with 1.1. You know, I've never seen the Ottomans complete their, um, what are they called? Te T something. Tenemits. Tenemits. Tena. Tena. Tenemites. Termites. I haven't seen them complete any of their termites. That doesn't sound right. Tianzamat, Tamza, Tinza, Tianza, Tunzanut. Issue is, I've got barely any workers. Apparently, this is the number one most productive furniture manufacturer in the world. Yeah. I imagine it would be because we only have 300 employees and yet it makes a ton of cash. Who's Colombia under? So I can liberate Colombia. Oh, I can liberate from them. Okay, cool. I need a prestige of 26. Prestige 26 will allow me to take out Argentina. Dangerous gunsmith. Oh God. Okay. Set up a domestic weapons industry. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Just 11 more prestige. I no way to get that. About to hit a million GDP, but honestly, it's very tricky getting going. Okay. I think I'm going to build up and try and take on Argentina because Argentina is only going to get stronger and they have things that I need. Like they got 25 right now. We could probably muster around around 20. Their GDP is slightly larger than ours. Um, it's also that population is looking pretty good. Plus they have access to this slot down here that they can grow into. Do they have coal? For a second I thought that said skyscraper is like, as in they had one. I was like, ah, it's very impressive. I know they said Argentina is one of like the highest per capita this time, but still. Yeah, I gotta do this. I have to. That's my steel. That's everything right there. Okay, we're gonna upgrade our military as well. Can I check the barracks? Two cannon artillery, two line infantry. I'm gonna get mobile infantry and... So that's not concern. It's just filling up this lot. Is gonna mean we're gonna need artillery input. That's fine. We can order some of those in. Okay, now we need to be 28. They have any skirmish infantry? Uh... It says 12, but where are the 12 coming from? It says line infantry. It's not letting me upgrade them! <laughs> I've uh, managed to make my, my prestige go downhill because I couldn't upgrade. The button wasn't working to upgrade, so I've had to delete the units and then rebuild them. I hope I can import the munitions. Also just drop taxes for now. Yeah, I mess this up, which means that, yeah, Argentina's pulling ahead. I so staked my economy on being able to secure that iron. If I can't, all of the work we did against Brazil's for nothing. Also, I think Peru, yeah, Peru, Bolivia, Bolivia is a thing. I just, I was in the bathroom at the time. You know, Punjab now, not the Sikh Empire. I want to know why austria hungary can't be mad because technically I'm trying to do the same thing, but uh, yeah, it's not a fun pop-up. Got iron frame buildings and then import iron. Jesus, now we have a massive tool shortage. Bought those as well. Fine, I know we've got shortages of everything. Just everything I have is staked on this. We need to be able to beat them two to one. That's the horrifying thing. We don't want to ban slavery, but can't. Because government doesn't want it. Drop down to this and then we can go for it. Do legacy slavery and we'll slowly phase it out. Our economy is going to stagnate whilst I do this. <laughs> Finally, time for us to step Argentina. Gentlemen, if you would not mind, why are you demobilizing for additional days? Don't demobilize, mobilize. Do the opposite. Do the opposite. Do the other thing. The other thing. The mobilizing thing. Thank you. Right, I need this province. This one to connect it. This one because I want it. This one because I need it. This one because I feel like it. Done us no favors on our infamy, but are you not gonna like mobilize to fight this? I, I, I invested a lot in my armed forces, man. I'd appreciate it if you actually fought me. I got terrified. I thought they were joining me. I thought they were gonna attack me. I mean, Brazil might be next on the cards, depending on how well this goes. We do outnumber them and we do have better troops. Right, off we pop. Look at that. Oh, that's not even close. Come a long way with our armed forces. This is where I feel truly at home. There's a second army, but they're all defending. I only have one general. Is that a bad thing? I feel like it's a bad thing. Maybe I get another. There's a short march over here now. Hey, where are you going? You're involved in a battle, but you're not though? I mean, it's what saved me last time, so I can't complain too much. Let's just push over here. I mean, if he's just gonna stand there, I'm gonna... Oh, I think I made it just before. Nice. It does have a navy. Okay, I'm hoping the gold is gonna get me out of this. The gold and the iron. I spent a lot of, a lot on important. We're losing our, is that because half of our army's dead? Can't imagine he's faring better. Yeah, he's faring even worse. Okay, we have encircled him. There is nothing left. 
in Argentina. The plan is then to switch over my um, colonization laws and start taking this stuff. It's a very modern suit. Chieftain Henry Bonaparte. He's apparently animist and Patagonian. I don't know if I believe you. All right, that's that done. What I enjoy is you can see them. <laughs> you can see them just chilling. Okay, it's gonna be a rough couple of years, that's for sure. But I now need to fix this. Finally, suppress some areas, particularly over here. Oh man, this is getting oh, this is mess to figure out. Okay, coal shortage. I think I have one thing of coal. It's just not been used. I have a coal mine. Let's get some relations with Peru, Bolivia. It's a good idea. Now there's a shortage of coal. I'm fixing it. Okay, our power rank is gonna go down to minor power, but honestly, that's fine. We did what we set out to do so far. Get colonial exploitation. Start colonizing. Stop importing these guns now. All right, we're gonna be rough for four years. After that, we should be in a better pl. What? Okay, right, United States. Yeah. What the hell? is that? Auburn Chicote. What? <laughs> Presidential dictatorship? What is that flag? That's not the stars and bars. You only got a few on the eagle's chest. Is that a crown? Don't crown the eagle. Presidential dictatorship. That looks like a monarchy to me. Don't know if I'm okay with this. Okay, so it's been uh, a couple of years, more than I said, mainly because I was desperately trying to fix our economy. You can see that our GDP is now 3 million, which is not that far off of what it was before, um, because all these lands... Uh, yeah, I, okay, so this stuff can be making money. I mean, in this case, it's not, but this stuff can be making money and then uh, people still won't be hired by them. Like, for example, here, we have a steel shortage. Steel is expensive and people, uh, they're leaving to go somewhere else. And this is very confusing to me. I don't understand. Like, like we have the population. There are, there are people who are unemployed. A lot of job seekers, and it's just not happening. I don't have to subsidize it. We're a little bit of a rough state. Um, so now we have an iron shortage and our economy starts to collapse. You can, you can begin to imagine why I haven't really been commentating. I've sort of just been desperately flipping from one thing to the next. Because again, iron is expensive. Why are we not, like, producing it? Why are we not hiring people? Why? Why? Oh, no. Please don't do this. I'll make a public health system. That sounds good. Yeah, very weird time. Also, my grand plan to colonize... Can't do it because Argentina and Chile have interests here. Rough couple of years. I don't make myself feel better by taking out Argentina. Because ultimately, I've tried fixing the economy and I, I've done a decent enough job. But sometimes... Why are you demobilizing for 60 days? Okay, cool. Failed coup. But why? 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 Why is this a thing? I'm getting very annoyed now. <laughs> 60 days of demobilization for what? And the game's getting... There we go. <laughs> it doesn't help that our nation doesn't want for anything. The things that it wants for... It. We had more workers. We could make more. But we don't. Now, this is what I want to see. Full employment. Perfect. Wonderful. Can you mobilize yet? You can. Wonderful. It's been a rough few years. Just go straight in. Just go straight in. Let me enjoy myself for a little bit. Now, back to the mess that is this economy. It's been... It's... Oh, my... I, I, not that I expected it to be... Oh, God. Easy. But, you know, I thought at this point... A little seafaring journey. But to where? I kind of don't want to piece I want to see what you're gonna do. He's going in through Peru into. Okay, sure. Well, he didn't quite make it in time. All right, let's go off to Chile. Second, I can mobilize. You're in so much trouble. He's feeling confident, mainly because they don't have an army right now. Also, most of our money comes from gold. I'm not gonna lie to you. Lower than standard, uh, expected standard living. Yeah, it's it's been. <laughs> This is not a fun place to live in the world. Six versus 15? What the hell are you playing at? Oh, there you go, that's more like it. Now it's a line of mountains. It's gonna be a miserable push, but it's a push we gotta do either way. We're about to become an insignificant power. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> it doesn't make sense if we have an iron shortage, but, but iron is so cheap for us. How can we have a shortage for something that's cheap? Just get more of it! That's how economy works! <laughs> Why is the economy broken? Oh, I forgot to show this. I do have a company. Oh, the company's gone. But I had a, like, I have a company, a gold company. So it makes us more gold money. I'm not going to subsidize it, but we have a shortage of steel. I just, you know what? It's fine. I'm just going to let the economy, I'm going to let the market decide. I'm not going to touch anything anymore. Maybe I'm the idiot. I've been, I've been, to be fair, before embarking on this, uh, I, I did play for two and a half hours of the same start over and over again. So it's every chance that, well, two things. One, my brain is completely rotted to the point where I can no longer play this game. Or two, that this is all a hallucination because... I slipped unconscious and slammed my head on the desk. That, that does make sense, now that I think about it. A very costly war for both of us. More for him than for me. Still, uh, we've got a third of the army remaining. I mean, he's got like 10% of his army remaining. Wars hurt way more now. You just do it. Not quite. Now you will. All right, there goes Chile and our economy. Oh, there's more gold mines here. Nice. We have shortages of coal. That's that's fine. Okay, actually, the economy is not looking too unhealthy. In fact, it's look the, looking, dare I say, healthy. How the hell did Mexico get up? Well, I suppose that sort of how the hell did Mexico get up there? I suppose to ask the Americans why they didn't take that land. French Empire looking interesting. Other than that, Europe really hasn't done too much. I imagine. Oh wait, hang on. There's no Sardinia Piedmont. It's just Modena. Fair. Who are you allied to? 
How'd you do that? How the hell did you kill Sardinia Piedmont? What's the rocket GDP check? With 2 million. So it's not looking too good either. Ottoman's looking okay. Okay, Japan is a thing. So the Japanese shogun. Did you change your laws? You got free trade, not isolation. Cool. Okay, the Brazilian GDP is 8.58, but they have a lot of uh, large military. To be fair, so do we. It's just taking a while for the manpower to come back. Oh my God, he's 98. And did he just make himself a general as I was watching him? Oh, and no longer a general. Spot a utopian. I'm not liking this. What, are you fighting someone? Why, what, what's all this violence for? You're Seven seventy six. I mean, how you? How did you? What? As far as I'm aware, this won't go away for Paraguay uh, in terms of forty percent enactment success chance, which is horrible. Uh, can't like won't go away until this man dies. He is ninety nine. Let's check back in a year's time see if he turns hundred. We're not really wanting for anything, but our standard of living is horrible. The one guy is employed here. What the hell do you do? It's like we don't we're not we don't have an excess of anything apart from gold. We don't need to really import anything. We are the most like balanced neutral nation there is. Look, dude, there's no need to start a revolution. I'll give you universal suffrage. No one, no one's really against you, know, but it's got a three percent chance to oh it's thirty six percent chance. Well, good luck then. What's GDP looking like? Ching has 157 million. I feel like the, the GDP side of things has slowed down, but the game, I feel like the game is slower. I think the gameplay is, it, like, the game is slower right now. Um, they did do performance stuff with this new update. Uh, like, for example, if I go over here and there's the, the hiring thing. Jesus Christ. They won't try again until, you know, they've been able to actually hire people. But apparently this is the seventh or the sixth most productive textile mill of the world. I've got 20 guys. I don't I don't know how that works. <laughs> I gotta re like relearn how this entire economy system works. Because clearly I'm uh, I'm I'm the one in the wrong. I don't think they'll have they'd have released it with the economy broken. That's like the main thing. <sighs> Giuseppe Garibaldi, you son of a bitch. You get back in here. Hero! He's an absolute hero. Wait, come on. Yes. I'm gonna grant you command. There you go. He's back. Oh. He's back just in time for me to start considering declaring war on Brazil, actually. No! Okay, so he's an agitator. I've invited him. But if I grant him a command, he leaves. <laughs> Go and fight elsewhere. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. We need lead. Well, we have a lead. Munitions. I think we also have one of those. We have a munitions plant, don't we? We have an explosives factory that no one is employed by. We have a fertilizer factory, which is employed by. Lead factory, which there is literally no one in. And there's an ammunition shortage, but the thing is, I do have a munitions plant. So what the hell is going on? There's a munitions plant that doesn't have any lead. There is lead. Okay, there we go. Immediately start employing people. Perfect. He's 101. He's 101. <laughs> I was a Gaspar, he's a hundred and one. It's phenomenal. Spell the Brazilian diplomats. They are currently, well, they were genial towards us. They were very friendly. They want to cooperate, but we don't forget. We currently have 26 uh, divisions. I'm building a couple more of the, the latest stock. We're gonna need at least 50. Why, why? But uh, So the whole point of this was that like, I had to take out um, Chile to be able to have colonies here because it said you can't do it whilst another nation has interests and like, act, like active interest there. But then the French can turn up and do it. Is it because they're a, a, a major power? Like that would make sense, but where's the tooltip? Gotta show me those receipts. All right, we're about to next you enact uh, universal suffrage. Whereas we've got skirmish. Path of liberalism completed. Lovely. I'm uh, being assaulted by Mapuche. I have to mobilize everyone. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? What's Brazil's navy like? Right, this should give us some colonization rights. He doesn't actually have any troops. I'm not sure what the sort of rising up against me is achieving. There's no one here. I'll just give him the land, because it'd be funny. Here we go, propose that. Now we should have much faster colonization. Jesus, yeah, it's a lot faster. Not a lot of the French are doing anymore. And their growth is a lot faster than mine, owing to their massive population. Don't really want to be watering the French empire, but here we are. Don't you have, like, Africa to colonize? What are you doing over here? What happened to the Monroe? Road doctrine, huh? Is it the one road doctrine? I don't even know what it is. You're meant to have no outside influence over it, over here. That's your whole thing. But instead, you've taken Rio Grande and you didn't take Mech. What the hell is this? Oregon. Why? Do it. <laughs> I'm in a very irritated mood today. No, Garibaldi! Just want him back. 62, he's still young. I need him for Brazil. Ooh, we can establish a new company. I click the button. So the available company we have right now is this, which is give us wheat farms and livestock. No, I don't really want that. Dude, that give us plus 10% offense if we have foundry and an arms industry, which we need anyway. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's wait for those. Munition shortage. Yeah, I know there's an ammunition shortage. It's just, it's for whatever reason, you're not building it. There we go. We need more munition or more explosives. Do you mind making more? Now we're gonna have a shortage of fertilizer, but again, I have a fertilizer place thing. So so we should, okay, we're actually making a lot of money now. That's surprising. I thought for sure I'd screw up the economy for, for real this time. No, return state North Africa. It was never yours. It was never yours. Godspeed, you magnificent bastards. Oh, the Pope himself's intervening. 
You can't. You'll get excommunicated. We'll do this. Oh, Spain, you little. Oh, my God. How does it feel? Britain. Britain defending the Tunisians. Yes. I knew it. Oh, you might live today, my friend. Now, hopefully, the British can get into Gibraltar, and then you'll be fine. Another native uprising. And I can't mobilize for 36 days. Can't establish any of these. But the, the, I mean, I love this stuff. The art is great. I need a level five steel mills. Any Rio Grande state is no corporate state has. Okay, so I need five takes almost in the same place. These are big benches. These uh, come second colony speed. I get the logging camp up to 10. I can establish a company. It's useless because I'm fraudulently increasing it, but it's fine. I've got increased colonization rates over here as well now. Too many capital. Ah, probably the Americas. The Rio Grande's public is a vast unfortunate land, though it's sparsely populated. Damn straight. I've only got 4 million people. Must look beyond the seas to troubled Europe. Ooh. Every incorporated state gets migration traction. Remote European migration. Sweet. I like that. South Italian pops in the papal states will migrate. We get a couple of people from like Lazio and everywhere else. Oh, great. Now the English are here as well. Why? Go away. Also, I'd like to point this out. Australian unifier. Does not look unified to me. There's a bit of Western Australia and Eastern Australia. Also, our finances might look a little bit more dire. And uh, okay, Tunis has migrated. Did not expect that. Not sure you guys have Tunis anymore. So yeah, we're also spending money because there was a flood in Uruguay. Apparently we're going to pay for those. I think it's time. Got this show on the road. What happened to my new army. I just had it. They just died. What? What? It says 53. Where are the other ones? 53. Uh, but then, but, uh, where are they? I'm missing the 10 from earlier. Yeah, they're dead. They, but they, but I still have to pay for them. Why does that? Why? <laughs> Why? Look, military create army. Maybe like, no, they're just not here. And then it crashes. <sighs> gonna see and summon these guys up yeah it doesn't know where they are it doesn't know where that army is i don't either I sent them over here so surely if i create an army they'll just turn up well i'm already now unfortunately i had new parents like numerical priority but now i no longer do so i don't i don't really want to risk any more of them okay let's just build directly to this army it looks to me like we've got a, a whole soviet union situation post-soviet union situation hey they form in romania <laughs> well i can form in romania nice someone's claiming these people exist when they don't We've got ghost divisions, boys. Hey, you still got frigate. I can declare a bunch of interests. There's only one nation I'm interested in. The game itself doesn't doesn't feel like you should be playing as Rio Grande. It's like, no, I don't I don't know that this is possible. I want Sao Paulo and I want the capital, Rio de Janeiro. We can't be Rio Grande do Sul without conquering another Rio, you know? Yeah, it just it, let's just consolidate those. Not have let us consolidate our lands, and it looks like you're not that was this. Prussians are involved. He is mobilizing to fight me. The numbers are even. Now, despite our missing troops, I'm going to continue with the plan. Invade Rio de Janeiro. Okay, we immediately go there. This is very new. I think he's seen it coming. Okay, they've contested it, but they also have like a lot here. So I might have gone overkill with the, with the fleet. Ramming maneuver. You're in an ironclad. Did they ram each other? Your yeah, landing's going to be basically impossible. There's no shot. Did you contest it again? So what's our landing progress? We have to lose three battles. Oh, they're back again. Are we just going to be here forever? Dude, my fleet can't go and re-morale, but his can. No, come on, he can't. He can't do this to me. Oh, you can't do this to me. Please, let me have my moment of victory. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm gonna pause again. It's the landing. It's the goddamn landing. I saw it for a second. Please! <laughs> I think I might actually cry. I think it's, it's been like five, no, it's been six hours. <laughs> oh my God. It's been a rough day yesterday. A rough day today, chaps. Oh man. I disbanded it. Okay. So no, doesn't doesn't goddamn matter. Ah! Right, let's get you home because I don't trust that there's not an issue with the whole no naval stuff. It just doesn't work anymore. That was a different save. That was in May. I'll go back to the the, the furthest one I can. Wait, I think I have a save from before the war. <laughs> Okay, so back to the start of the war and no naval invasion for me. Just the push, the grind. Okay, or not. Uh, for, for context, this is, I see you playing spreadsheet simulator very, very good. There's an issue with the war itself. A problem. Okay, so clearly this isn't working. So what we're gonna do instead is surrender as Brazil. I was gonna win this. There was no doubt in my mind I was gonna win this. It just occurred to me that I missed out province as well. All right, we have ourselves. We'll accept it. The Gaucho yell! My event! The one I was looking for, the missing one! Victory not only have our valiant troops fought off the Brazilian carimus on the field of battle, but they've also managed to feel our Solista brethren in the Cath. Baronese Republic from the wretched yoke of Bahia. When the tro That's really cool. I'm on the trophies and souvenir trinkets are captured from the battle. He spotted a pair of ragdolls lying face down the mud. The captain knelt behind the pu beside the puddle. Turn him over, he recognized the facsimile. The men of House uh, Bragan Bragantha. Whoever they belong to are long gone now. He dusts them into the nearest fire. The cheers of his men. So, long live the free and independent uh, Catherine's Republic. So they 
we don't the chance to eat them. Oh, we do. Or we could become the Catherine's Republic. Let's see what happens when I do that. What do these guys have? It doesn't seem to be localized, which again, fair enough. You'd have to be an idiot to sit here for this long and play this, <laughs> this game. Just with the hope of beating Brazil. Right, well, there it is. That's that done. Was that fun? I w no, I spent three hours, just over three hours, um, uh, two and a half, three hours, uh, or something like that. I don't know what time I started this. Doing the initial war, and I only got it because it, they broke against Paraguay and uh, had the front line and ran away. That's the only reason. Uh, looking back at it, I don't know if there's any other way to do it than just do that and get lucky over and over and over again. Um, aside from that, it was pretty plain sailing. It was, it was all right. Uh, definite changes to economy. I like some of the changes. Some of them I really don't like. Um, but it's good to see that there is, at the very least, new life in uh, Victoria 3. It feels to me like the war update here. Like I said, I'm not a fan of my, some of my troops right over disappearing. It, this feels like it needs to be better fleshed out. Um, I'm happy to see that they're taking it in a more concrete direction. Um, but it, it, it does need a lot of work, uh, but hey, that's that's the game. I still enjoy playing it um, The game feels slower and the economy feels a bit more slug, uh, but that also might be because I miss playing it uh, So I'm not gonna knock them for that but all in all I, I'm loving the new flavor flavor is what's gonna make this game pop really uh, the pro Bolivia stuff I enjoyed um, And I'm definitely gonna be playing as pro Bolivia and also Brazil and testing them out. Otherwise chaps uh, that was a thing. In recognition of my efforts, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDow52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there, just, just click on it.